Well, the newest member of our team, meteorologist Danielle Moss, it was her first night on air <laughs> yes. was last night. It was. And, and you came in uh, at a time where you came in actually in history, your first night yes. on air here, and it was pretty rough. Yes, it was. Not my first tornado outbreak, but something I've never seen before and something no one has ever seen before because it was record-breaking and history-making last it, night. It sure was, and, and you've been looking at some of the stuff today uh, and going to talk about the overnight lows and what's ahead for the rest of the weekend and next week. Exactly. Tonight is going to be very, very cold outside. Let's take a look at our current temperatures right now across the Mid-South. It's 42 degrees here in Memphis and 41 in wind. Look at Holly Springs, 42. We are drastically, drastically colder than what we were this time yesterday. Look at Memphis, 36 degrees cooler than what we were yesterday. All across the Mid-South, temperatures are very, very low. Holly Springs, 30 degrees cooler and temperatures are going to continue to drop all throughout the night. Take a look at our tonight's lows. Some people will be below freezing. Power is out. We've been talking about that all evening. Please remember if you have any loved ones or any neighbors that are outside, have no lights, get them some heat, get them some lights, bring them inside, try to make a plan ahead of time. Look at this hour by hour. As you can see at around 8, 42 degrees and the temperatures will continue to drop all night long very, very important there. There's some things we want you to know. Tonight, we'll see a drastic change in your temperatures, but we're going to warm up very quickly. That's the good news. The temperatures and the forecasts are going to start looking better. Warmer temperatures are on the way and rain chances do return by the end of the week. Keep that in mind. This is a look at our radar. As you can see, that system is continuing to push off to the east and high pressure is coming right behind it, but it is still wreaking havoc, especially along the Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina right now. That line of storms is still holding still. Hopefully, it will continue to push off and those people don't have to worry about that for much longer. If you take a look, we'll be lots of sun, very dry for tomorrow. It's going to be a better day tomorrow. So if you still don't have power, we're going to warm up very nicely. 53 degrees, pretty mild all throughout the day. The sun was going to get up around 658. So if you don't have power, that's your first chance to see daybreak in the morning around 658, a little bit before seven. So keep that in mind. Let's take a look at your seven day forecast. Not much going on this week. That's good news because we had a lot to take in yesterday and I know a lot of people are trying to get things back together from those storms that happened last night, even right here in the Metro Shelby County area. 54 degrees for your high tomorrow. And as you can see, the next couple of days, temperatures will continue to rise by Wednesday. We'll be around 72 degrees. Then we'll have another cold front pushing through the area. That's going to bring us some more rain and some possible storms. So we'll keep an eye on that as the week goes along. Then temperatures will start to drop off just a little bit by Saturday will be 60. Our average for this time of the year is 54 degrees. Make sure you guys go ahead and download our app. Have multiple ways of communication because the, tonight it's going to be very cold. If you know anybody who doesn't have any power, it could be very, very dangerous for them. Stay with us. We'll have more after the break.